Yo, what up, guys? That Pika's over here, and um, today I have a battle. Oh, uh, uh, uh. okay. Um, I have a battle for you guys today. It's my first monotype battle. I just built it. It's against Todd. I don't know if I'm going to be posting this yet. Hopefully, I will be if he allows me to. Um, yeah. Okay, whatever. Um, let's begin. Okay. Um, it's a monotype team. I'm dark and he's water. I'm kind of, I have a disadvantage in a way. But, let's begin. So it's a 6v6 battle and it's against Todd and he's a really, he seems like he's a really cool guy. He leads off with Polly Top, which I thought was pretty funny. And I let out with my damn hits. This is my only good nickname I have on this because I don't have any more nicknames, honestly. Um, hopefully you guys can see it pretty nicely. You see it started the rain. And this, already I knew this guy was pretty good. But I predicted the polytoed lead, so I went for the knockoff. Because I knew it probably had leftovers or something. Like that, but I had the damp rock. So that was pretty cool. So I I played pretty crappy at the beginning of this battle, but I began with that. And then I got Greninja out here. I don't know why, but I don't remember. I just had this battle, but I don't remember why. Why? Oh yeah. I predicted that he would go into that, predicting me to go for like a iron head or something. I don't know. I just pretty much didn't want him to die and got him. But you can see, I got my dark um, pulse and it flinched, thank god. But then I can't do anything because I don't have any really good moves. I could have ended up killing it early on, but I went with extra sensory. Bada boom. Because that's the only one really could go for because the other moves are squad and ice beam. That's not going to do anything. So we've got Recover, and honestly that sucks for me. Because Recover is one heck of a thing on Jelly Scent. It does not play around when it's got Recover, and it's annoying. Um, so I'm pretty much going to say, that's enough, come back. And I'm going to send in, and hits again, so you have to sacrifice it. But it just goes to a willow list, which, you know, that's pretty cool. I don't really care, because that means I get to stay alive a little longer. You see it does take effect later on in the game, but it's whatever. Um, you can see I don't have much to do now. This is where he brings in his Vaporeon, I believe, though. I'm very sure of that. But he's going to send in the Vaporeon. I'm going to go for a knockoff instantly, just to get whatever it has on, because I wasn't sure if it was going to stay in. Had the Rocky Helmet, and that's pretty much where the damage is coming now, and that's going to hurt a lot. So he's gonna just go, I went for an Iron Head, I don't know why, pretty much just get damaged. Cause I knew it was gonna go for a Wish, I could've went for another Knock Off and I would've done more. But I knew it was going for the Wish, because, you know, that's a big point on you. And then I'm left with 3 HP, I believe. I could tell. I'm sorry, you can't really see the HP much on my side, but he comes going to Dragon. And he ain't playing games well. But he goes away for the Scald, and that's not gonna do much, cause I mean, Water, but it does a decent amount because Greninja is pretty fire, frail. Um, he did get the wish, he also that's cool, whatever. And I'm gonna go wait for the dark pulse just to get the flinch, and this is where the hacks got on my side, honestly. Because flinch, go for it again. Oh, it's not gonna flinch this time. Flinch, <laughs> I think it flinches one more time, All right? No. But two times in a row is pretty good, honestly, for my luck. But, um, yeah. So, he's gonna withdraw Vape Nation again. He's gonna go into Polytod. That's cool. And then I just put one of the dog posts because, you know, I don't have much else to do with it. So, that's just let's see. Let's see, I like dog posts a little more. So, bada boom. I'm gonna get another little bit of chunk off of it. And it's gonna continue when the wish came true. I went for another dark pulse, and this is pretty much where Greninja is just dead. I had nothing else for him to do. Let's be good to switch into something. So, I guess that's good that, because I could have screwed up the whole game on it, thinking me. If something got toxic, that was important. But, I switch out, and I go into damn hips, I think. Yeah. Just because, I mean, I'm dead, basically. I have nothing to do. He's gonna go for the squad, he's gonna kill me. And I think this is where the beast comes in himself. I believe Mr. 
Malamar. Malamar was a destructive beast in this game. And you're gonna see in a minute. I'm just going for Psycho Cop being kind of an idiot. I was hoping for the flinch, I think. Did decent amount of damage. Miss. This is the toxic, which is just great. And he has to switch out basically because he's gonna die. He's gonna go into Vape Nation, probably set up a wish, I believe. But this is where I predict that and go for a superpower because I know of Psycho Cop probably won't kill it. And obviously, with contrary, attack and defense is gonna be risen. And the opponent is dead. He's out there. So, you know, the rain stop. Okay, the timing. That shampoo comes in. And this is where I thought um, Malamar was gonna die, honestly. Because he might have evolved it. I know he's gonna probably go for an earthquake. But then I think about it, I'm like, well, I can just keep boosting on him. And I didn't know how much damage I would do. I thought I was gonna do like a little above half. But you'll see in a minute. Look how much damage I tanked that with. So one of the two cross, boom, and it does half with one boost. That's amazing. So basically, it's gonna go for another earthquake. So that's that's yippee, I guess. Whatever. Um, and I'm gonna have a citrus berry just to heal up a little bit because I don't have leftovers. I don't think leftovers are too efficient on it. Let's go for another super power for the kill. That's plus three attack, I believe, and plus three defense. That's a destructive beast right now. Malamar, let's not take the crap from anyone. Just took out the Mega Swamper, and that's pretty amazing. So he comes Queen Jolly, and I bet, I don't know if he was thinking, oh, he can't do anything. Psycho Cut. Boom. Almost dead. One hit, almost dead. This is the Will O' Wisp as well, which probably destroyed in this whole game. But, so I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna get a sweep, right? Because that's Swamper and Jolly sent out. We're very poor at Swamper Jelly Sent just to mail him off. And then the East Bunny comes along, like, oh, what is he gonna do? He goes for an Aqua Jet, which is, you know, that's fair play. Just gets a little damage, but it does nothing. So I just go for another Psycho Shot, boom, boom, boom. And it almost kills it in one hit. <laughs> that's crazy. Boom. Good do decent damage. But I go for it last, because I'm a last Sweet Talk variant with the um, Super Power and um, Psycho Cut. So that's pretty good. Well, I'm on Tegan, and the East Bunny's gonna switch out. There's not much he can do now. I'm guessing he was the setup on me, but the problem with that, I don't know what the problem is, I have, like I said, Sleep Talk, which is gonna help me good time. And you're thinking, oh, he's gonna get Psycho Talk. Nope. I get Super Power, believe. Yeah. So that's plus four attack, plus four defense. I am a destructive beast now. No one can basically stop me. Which is pretty good, honestly. So, that was Polly Todd. I love that name, guys. Okay. Lord Helix, another good name. Um, but this is where he screwed up my whole game, basically. He was so smart, and I'm dead. Because I forget, I have like, no special defense. I'm more of a defensive attacker. So, we're going to Greninja, and I know there's not much I can do with Greninja, but I'm just switching into him to switch into him. Goes to Squad, I'm dead. And I'm thinking, oh, I think I'm done. I think it's game over, you know? Not much I can do. And then, I had to think about it, and I bring in Hydreigon, and I'm thinking, okay, maybe he's faster. Nope. Oh, wait, no. Oh, my bad. Well, he is a fast idea. He's just saying that here, thinking I'm going for a Dragon Pulse. No, nope, I go for a Dog Pulse. I don't, I didn't really predict that. I've got East Bunny was even on the team, honestly. So I was lucky enough to kill it, thankfully. So yay me. I'm gonna, I have Life Orb, so that's good. <laughs> and then, here comes Lord Helix, which is his last guy now. I'm gonna go for ice cream just to ruin my day with Hydreigon. Hydreigon is also a beast um, in the Battle Tower or whatever. It's called in this game. Battle Mace Zone. I got to like 35 with him in the lead, which is pretty good. But he was tired of throwing him thinking, oh, I think he's tired out speed. I think it's game over. But more accurately, he outspeeds, which is just amazing. And the only other guy I had on my team was Houndoom, and I couldn't have done anything with Houndoom. So, luckily, luck, luckily, I beat Lord Helix and I win. So, good game, Todd. I found him on Reddit, and he's a pretty neat guy. He was pretty polite about the game. He said GG and all that, and that's what I like. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed this um, Pokemon battle. I'm hoping to get more out for you guys. And that's about it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed.